Hey everyone, we got some really big news for Micron Technology stock investors as the company is starting to benefit from the increasing effectiveness of artificial intelligence. So in this video, I'll review all of those latest developments and what it could mean for Micron Technology stock investors. So without further ado, let's jump into these details. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So finally, Micron experienced a surge in revenue, 18% sequential revenue growth up to 4.7 billion in its latest quarter, and that was up 16% year over year. Remember the company had been in a cyclical downturn, so it's nice to see the bottom has set in and the recovery is ongoing and management thinks this has long runway to go. Now, for the first fiscal first quarter, DRAM revenue was $3.4 billion. That represented 73% of its total revenue. Shipments increased in the low 20 percentage range, and prices increased in the low single-digit range. I always like to see that when I'm looking at an investment is not only units increasing, but also price increasing. That signals strong organic demand for its products, right? Because think about it. If you have an increase in units shipped, but you have lower prices, then it's likely that it was the lower prices that incentivized customers to buy more of your product. But you have higher prices and higher units shipped, that means there's increasing organic demand for your products. There's strong demand. Customers are coming looking for your product. You're not giving them many reasons to come looking for your product other than the customer value proposition, the value that your products add to the people that you're selling them to. That's great to see, and that's really good news for Micron Technology stock investors that the company is seeing strong organic demand for its DRAM because that's 73% of its total revenue. That's the vast majority of where it generates its revenue from. Its other segment, NAND or storage, was $1.2 billion, was 26% of Micron's total revenue, and you could see it only increased 2% sequentially. So that's not great news, but the upside of this is that this is the smaller segment for Micron. So it's okay, or it's better, that its smaller segment is growing more slowly, and its larger segment is growing faster and more robustly. So while you would like to see both of its segments growing together simultaneously, if you had to choose one of them, you would significantly favor its DRAM segment growing faster than its NAND segment. Shipments declined in the mid-teen percentage range after record shipments in the prior quarter. So there was a bit of a slowdown given that the previous quarter was so strong. But prices increased approximately 20%. So a big increase in prices in this segment, which led to a little bit of a decrease in demand as customers were a little hesitant after ordering so much and seeing higher prices, demand kind of fell off. Now that combination of DRAM and NAND, you can see Micron focusing on price improvement more so than unit shipment. That's great news. You want to see the company do that because there was a bit of an inventory glut and it's okay if Micron experiences lower unit sales and produces lower amounts of these technologies and works on generating higher prices per unit rather than sending out more units. Another area of its business that was under pressure was the gross profit margin given the cyclical downturn and consolidated gross margin for the quarter was near 1%. So turning positive again, that was solid, improving 10 percentage points sequentially. For operating income, they had an operating loss of 955 million in Q1, resulting in an operating margin of negative 20% which improved from negative 30% in the prior quarter. Management is forecasting an improvement in each of these metrics, as we will see a little bit later in the video. Its operating cash flows were approximately 1.4 billion, representing 30% of revenue. That's a solid percentage of revenue to have your operating cash flow. During the quarter, they received 600 million in customer prepayments, to secure supply for leading edge memory products. 
Now, if there's ever an indicator of strong demand for your products, it's customers willing to prepay. Typically in the world of business, companies like Micron will sell their product, ship it to the customer, and the customer will get anywhere between 30 days or 90 days to pay them back. So they'll get an accounts receivable, which will be paid between 30 and 90 days on average. But if customers are sending you money up front before they even receive your product, just so they can get priority treatment, right? If you're willing to pay up front, you're going to go to the front of the line versus competitors that want to get this product, but they're only willing to have payback on account receivable terms, 30, 60, or 90 days, right? So if they're willing to pay up front, that signals strong organic demand for your product again in a yet another evidence of strong demand for micron technology products as we've already seen earlier with the higher price per unit and increasing unit amounts now we're seeing more evidence where customers are willing to pay up front for their products so inventory was a little bit elevated and they worked on bringing it down in the q1 ending inventory was 8.3 billion or 159 days worth down from 170 days worth in the prior quarter that's roughly five months of supply management said this is a little bit more than they would like and so they would like to bring this down a little bit more and you can see their strategy going into calendar 2024 they're going to decrease the amount of supply demand they're saying is strong but they're not going to increase supply as much as demand is increasing so that way they can work down their inventory level and also exercise pricing power so that's also going to be a catalyst to increase profit margins and cash flow from operations for micron technology in calendar 2024. the outlook according to management is in the memory and storage market is improving they expect supply and demand balance to tighten in both dram and nand throughout 2024 their leading edge dram and nand nodes are oversubscribed for the full year that means more demand than there is supply consequently they expect prices to increase throughout calendar 2024 more good news there both dram and nand bit shipments are expected to decline somewhat in the fiscal second quarter that's a bit of a headwind and they expect second quarter gross margin to benefit from the price increases and reduced impact from underutilization. as i mentioned earlier they do expect gross profit margin and operating profit margin to improve throughout 2024 and they forecast a much reduced operating loss in the second quarter and they project a return to operating income in the third quarter so significant improvement in their gross profit margin and operating profitability as the year progresses from being significantly negative in these metrics to now turning things around and becoming significantly positive so great news for micron technology stock investors who saw the company bottom out in 2023 in terms of demand for their products given the oversupply in the industry and now they're in that cyclical upturn and management expects positive prospects throughout 2024 and beyond before i let you go let me tell you about the greatest deal on youtube with just a click of a button you can get free financial analysis from a professor with decades of investing experience so what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and i'll see you again soon